Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to Memorial Plateau. At long last, I am back on Ark. It's felt like months, even though it's only been about a week. Yes, the move is finally finished. I am now in the new apartment. Um, everything is all good and everything is well. Uh, back on track as it was. So. Lots has happened. Lots has happened indeed. Um, new feeding troughs, a new bow, and a new dinosaur have all been added, amongst other things, since I have left, including metal arrowheads and lots of bug fixes and performance increases. Um, I'm not on as high quality as I was before, but right now, for the first time since I've started recording Ark on anything higher than medium, I am currently on a solid 60 FPS when looking out in the distance. Yay for slow but steady improvements. Anyway, today, as the title may clue you in, we are going to be going after the compound bow. Now, don't worry, I'll be skipping a lot of this. I already have enough metal, I already have enough obsidian, it's simply making cementing paste, which I already have... Uh, I have more obsidian over there, obviously, at the at our lovely powder keg, all the way in the distance over there. Actually, where's the thing? Aha! The powder keg, all the way over there. Look, you can just about see some of the stuff's loaded in because, well, distances still don't load in very well at the moment. Hello, turtle. Oh my lord, a really high-level turtle, that's... So apparently the high-level turtles have began, have began loading in. I'll need to... Ah, we can test that later. So yes, the new bow. Let's discuss that for a second while I go over there. So the new bow is obviously one of the new items. It's it's the new high-end bow. It's the compound bow, which is quite expensive. Um, let me just show you. Thankfully, all the experience I had before did level me up automatically when the level cap once again increased. Like I said before, it's increasing as new items are indeed implemented. And there it is, the compound bow, which is very, very expensive to make. Which can also shoot this, the metal arrow. And also, I'm starving to death, but I'll, but, I'll, but I'll solve that in a second. Which is kind of amazing. So, the big thing is that this arrow is much more powerful, at least a significantly higher, a, a significant amount more powerful than the crossbow. It's also faster shooting than the crossbow, and can handle these metal arrows, which do a ridiculous amount of damage, apparently rivaling even that of the guns, which is interesting. But the big thing for me is this means mm. when you're out of metal arrows, of course you can still use regular arrows. But even more exciting for me is this. There's a good chance, because at the moment, right now, as, as of recording this, there's no information about this online, I've checked a few times, you can't, um, I'm not sure if these are even more effective with the tranquilizing arrows. Now, it should be, because the crossbow is better with the tranquilizing arrow than the regular bow, so by that kind of logic, um, this should be better than the, than the crossbow. Here's hope it does. You literally have no inf Oh, yes, because you just had some metal with me a second ago, which is currently in the smelter. Okay, yes, yeah, so I've got to go and get some food. I'll do some hunting first, then, before we go over there. So that's the first thing. Um, obviously, I, I need to level up, and sadly, levels are ridiculous now, as you can see. I need another 9,000 experience to level. So that, so that won't happen in this episode, but there are multiple new things. And, yes, a new dinosaur. There is now the, the dragonfly. I can't remember its, um, its correct name, but there is indeed the dragonfly. And here there is... Isn't this fantastic? Put your food... Put food for your nearby pets in this, they'll automatically eat. Oh my god, that is so darn good, and that's what I'm getting when I level up. That's going to be so useful. Although, apparently, it can be found in some of the lower-level supply drops, so I might do some, 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 some um, supply drop hunting, just because that is so freaking good. Now, what can I hunt? Apparently immune to- yeah, there's, there's a weird thing. It turns out the spike wall, um, things won't aggro on it unless they're already aggroed on something else. So if an animal is hunting another animal, then walks into the spike wall, it will hurt them. However, if they're just going to walk into the spike wall, no damage is done and everyone is happy. So, yeah, I, I guess I can do some hunting while I'm out, actually, because, well, my lovely ankylos do a ridiculous amount of damage. Oh, is that one the new- that's not dragonfly, is it? No, it's one of the ants. Of course it's an ant. I still can't believe that they're set up to attack um, Argent Avis on site. I mean, really, would, you, would, you, would an ant attack this? It's like, it's like a natural predator of the ant, I would imagine. Giant ant? Well, meet giant bird. <laughs> I love picking these things up. It's so mean, but it's, easy, but it's the easiest way to kill them. As then they don't run away. And I simply harvest them and everybody's happy. Some food for my birds, some food for me, everyone is spoiled for choice. Oh, I just aggroed something, probably never- Oh no, this time it was a Dilo. Excuse me, Mr. Dilo. There we are, I'll eat you as well. Lots to eat. Okay, well, back to what I was doing then. 
So, yes, yeah, sadly, I do need to get quite a few stones. Actually, let's have one last look. Actually, no, I know what the recipe was. Um, okay, so... Ooh, hello. Ooh, no, the albino, um... Dimorphodon? Is it my Ah, you little guys, little birdies. I didn't mean to attack them, I'm very sorry. Are actually really common, I keep seeing them. So, when I found one, I felt really, really special for finding one so early, it turns out. No, they're really common, and I had absolutely no need to be excited, which is rather upsetting. Okay, back to stone hunting. Oops. After I almost fall to my death, back to stone hunting. Okay, so what I've decided to do is I'm going to make 300 cementing paste, which is going to take a while, but thankfully, ankylos are awesome. And I'm going to get around about 200 obsidian. This should cover my needs for the bow and give me a bit of spare for next time. So the big problem with the bow, obviously, is the is the fact of repairs. So most likely the crossbow is going to be my per my go-to thing, because although it's harder to repair than a regular bow, it lasts a lot longer. Oh, hello, Mr. Rex. There's a Rex over there, isn't it? Yep, no, he's definitely a Rex. Well, a bit of experience for the ankylos. I'm always ooh, ooh a lag spike. What did I, what what just spawned in? I wonder. Yeah. Oh, there's two Rexes. There's three Rexes. That's a bit scarier. I was going to say, I'm always very confident with the um, combat abilities of the Ankylos. That's, that's why I always take three of them, because I find that they can kill pretty much anything. But, well, I just defecated on top of my Ankylos. That's always lovely. However, when there are three of them, and I don't know their levels yet, that's a bit more scary. What level are you? Go on. Oh, I, I have to be in a certain position to figure out the level with this darn thing. Oh, oh, three. Okay, well, one of them's weak, and they don't have the mate bonus. So it's okay to go back up there, because I do need more obsidian. I actually thought I had 100 obsidian, turns out I have about 60 at the moment overall, so I do need a little bit more than was actually first expected. So let's go ahead and get back up here, and let's see if we get into a fight with a Rex. Are you two coming? Uh, club and Raptor bait? Wait, did I not bring a female? Really, I didn't bring a female? Well, I accidentally brought all males. I thought I grabbed... Yeah, I didn't think I'd grab Club. I thought I brought one of the females I have. Whoopsie daisy. Well, we're not having the mate bonus, which means slower experience and we're going to take more damage. Okay, what level are you? Because the other guy over there was low level. What level are you? You are level 12. Okay, that's fine. We can, we can handle level 12 Rex, can't we, lads? Even if we haven't got our females. Whoopsie daisy. What's it currently hunting after? It's after something. I can't see what on earth what it's after. I mean, in a second, it'll be after us. Club attack! Earlier, easy attack. Early attack? Well, it's got stuck on a rock. So yeah, let's go back to what I was talking about while I um, slowly free this Rex for a battle. The crossbow lasts a lot longer than the regular bow without breakings, and also, of course, does more damage per shot, so I tend to use that. I think that's always going to be my go-to range weapon. Then the guns and the compound bow are going to be a lot for special occasions, like from hunting down a Rex or something. Speaking of which... I'm blocking one of my poor little fellows in, so I'll go around the side. Ooh, look at the blood! Haha! <laughs> Cabbage is victorious, and now to get some food for myself. And first of all... Oh, wow! We got another Rex helm! That's awesome! Thank you, sir! <laughs> oh, I do kind of feel bad for killing Rexes, but... Sometimes really, really mean ankylos just win the... These things are just brutal. I really... These are probably my favourite animal right now. As we speak, probably my favourite. Also, they seem to have made a bit of a graphical increase on the Rex's face. I know this is a bit morbid since we're actually looking at a corpse, but that's definitely been improved. I wonder if they've upgraded the um, the spino the spino yet? Because the spino's really needed a face. <laughs> they couldn't need a facelift. It all looked, it all basically looked like one mesh of colour. So again, we'd harvest this guy and get back to harvesting. If something interesting happens, I'll cut to there. Go Future Lapics! Editing powers! Okay, and we are back after our first little um, exploration. Cabbage managed to level up again, which is fantastic. And we have got quite a bit of stone to shift into the thi Really, I can't hold 200 at once, so that's going to make this so much easier. Possibly need to deposit some stuff before we really start. But anyway, okay. Well, this really won't be enough, because I'm going to need around about 200 cementing paste. Wait. No, I'm going to need more than that, aren't I? Yeah, I'm going to need at least, um... So, I need almost 100 polymer. Now, polymer is 2 obsidian... Was it 2... Oh, lord! Is it 2 obsidian, 2 cementing paste, or... 2... or 2 obsidian... 
one cementing paste or some variation of that. I know it's some variation of that. Anyway, we're going to need a lot of cementing paste is the point. So we're going to need around about... We're looking at... 2,000 plus stone. Yep, 2,000 plus stone should be enough to make the cementing base we need regardless. So what I'm going to do is I'll just fly off in a second, go back to the base and check out just how much of everything we do actually need and then hopefully, well hopefully it won't take too long. Random side note, they seem to have upgraded the chance of um, picking up the, the rare flowers. I'm not sure which, animal, um, which animals can actually pick that up from the bushes, but apparently ankylos can, so that's one of them. I just found that quite a bizarre thing. Um, I very rarely get many. Oh, there's too much in there. Okay, I was thinking then. Why am I still got so much white? So I'll just put some in the wardrobe until um, we're finished. You know, I'll just store, store some stones in the wardrobe. But yeah, it won't take too long. This this journey only took um, about what? Uh, how much was it? It was about seven minutes according to my little stopwatch, which is next to me to help when I'm recording. Finally, I've got a stopwatch when I'm recording, so I can actually either have time what I record and what I don't. So hopefully we should be done within half an hour, and I, and I won't show you much more than this, obviously. We got quite a bit of obsidian and a lot of metal. Grab the metal. Uh, will I grab the metal? No, I won't, because stone's one for two. Yeah, got a lot of metal, and what, we got, what I'm going to do is burn some of the spark powder. I'm getting something so much spark powder, it's ridiculous. Okay, there we are. So the obsidian won't be a problem anyway, the obsidian is going to be easy, I've already got over 100 now and if we need 200 then, well, so be it. Okay, so be right back, I'm going to just go over to the base, I'm going to see how polymer is made. It's just been quite a long time, I know it's quite a bit, and I'll just, right, first I'll finish unloading all the stones so we can continue our cement paste building. I would say I'll just build some more um, pestle and mortars, but honestly... The actual production line is the, is the fastest bit, all the rest is just waiting around, getting more and more stone, so... That'll be long finished by the time we get back. Actually, what I'll do is I'll take the obsidian with me, actually, yeah, that'll be a good idea. I'll take the obsidian with me when I go back up to uh, Memorial Plateau, and that way I'm not weighing myself down all the darn time. Okay, so polymer was, as I thought, two obsidian and two cementing paste, which means we're going to need quite a bit of both weapons and da da da. This is going to need 95 polymer and 95 cementing paste. Sorry, 75 cementing paste. My lord, this is going to be a nightmare. I'm going to do some math right now and figure out exactly what we need. So, per cementing paste, we need eight. Correct? Correct. I like being correct occasionally. So, uh, calculator is go. How much stone am I going to need for this? 75 times 8, that is a grand total of 600. So 600 stone for the cementing paste on its own. Then we're going to need 95 times 2, because that's how much cementing paste we need for the polymer. Once again, times 8. 1,500. Oh my lord. So, yeah, we're going to need over 2,000. That's actually horrible in every single way, shape, and form possible, because we're going to need a grand total of 2,120 stone. Ooh, thankfully, I can carry back about 600 per time, so it shouldn't take too long, but even so, that's horrible. Yeah, this is going to be a very special bow that's only used in very special occasions. Thankfully, I found the metal, so... Ugh. What I think I'm going to do... Thing I'm going to have to do is take out a load of the, um, where's Dusk? I just landed Dusk right there. Something tells me Dusk's fell off the side again. That's fantastic. I'm going to have to go down and find the darn thing. Uh, so yeah, what I'll have to do is I'll, I'll go out on a journey now with like three or four extra um, ankylos and we'll just fill them all up. They, they, they can carry about 300 each, so we shouldn't really have to do more than one journey. Back in a second. Naturally, Dusk fell over here. Not sure how that happened, considering she's facing the opposite way. And that, kids, is why you should keep better care of your birds. Okay, back after the next stone run. And they said I was mad for taming the Ankylo Legion. Little did they know in the future, a single bow would take over 2,000 stone to produce. Well, at least now I've got a lot of mobile, very angry storage. Okay, so after two full runs with the entire pack and a lot of keratin news and more keratin being grabbed from my creatures, 
we almost have it, because according to my little spreadsheet I have now open on the side of the screen, I need 265 paste, meaning yes, I am just about there. I've also been unferrying obsidian back and forth, so I've told everyone else to stay, I'm just going to go and cabbage, and we're going to collect the rest of the rocks around the place. As you can see, I've pretty much cleared out the entire area here, because I was getting a bit bored of taking out the entire pack every time, so I've just been, uh, what do you call it, a pack, a group, a legion, and I'll, I'll say a legion. A legion of ankylos seems to work well to me. So, um, yeah, we should need about another 15 uh, cementing paste, so about one more full load of stone, and we are good finally to go. Not much has happened, really, it's just been me farming, so oh, it took a long time, so I'm sorry, it does took a long time. I think this time I did record a good extra 10 minutes of stuff that happened during the, during the gathering, but honestly, it wasn't that funny. I killed another X. Yay, I, I almost leveled up, up Cabbage again. Several of the lower level ones have now been leveled up, as you can as you could have seen when I was over there, hopefully. So, yeah, not much else really happened to that. So, um, to, to some of the people who were... Oops, there's not meant to do that. To some of the people who were curious as to why I didn't record Ark for when I was gone, as um, I, I did get a lot of comments, still a bit confused why I chose Reassembly over Ark and all that other stuff while I was gone on my little um, moving trip and illness. Well, it's because Ark can take up to three to four hours to record 20 minutes of half-decent footage after editing everything out. Because out. right now I've been, according to my stopwatch, recording for over two hours. Yep, I mean, this is, this is of course with distractions and stuff, this isn't just me doing the goal I've been set to do, this is me also um, wandering around, playing with my uh, lovely little um, Argent Avis, killing some things with some meat, going on a bit of an explore with some of my predators and stuff, but you know what I mean, it's a lot of gameplay for very little footage, but still, soon I'll have the awesome bow and it should all be worth it, hopefully. I'm really hoping the bow is really good, so it's a nice, um, it's a nice treat item to use. I'm actually dropping metal now, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I, I've got like 500 metal uh, smelting, so I've got about 250 to 300 bars. I'm not sure how many bars I had originally, so yeah. Just gonna grab some berries from here. It turns out, by the way, grabbing berries are much faster at leveling up the ankylo than actually grabbing stone, which is kind of sad. Okay, I don't, think I, I don't think I needed more than 10, so we have way more than 10 now, so we can go back. Didn't really need to drop the metal after all that, so let's go back and see. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I've stopped getting rare flowers. After saying how common they got, I, I suddenly stopped getting them, so perhaps it's only... I'm not quite sure why. Perhaps it's only bushes higher up or something. Or perhaps... I just got really lucky at the very start of this recording, but I haven't got a single mo I started off with zero rare flowers, I got five in the first 20 minutes, then I've got none in the next hour, I'm not sure what that means. Also, look at more bunched up since the last time we came back. Ah, uh, that means they're all on the downhill slope, which means they're all dumping straight into the um, building area. Lovely. Thanks that, lads. Can I get through here, am I, or am I going to have to get around? That's the question. Can I, come on, let me through. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we have two more, which we just made a second ago. Yeah, we're fine. And yes, indeed, we've finally got enough cementing paste. We should already have enough of the other stuff. Um, half the metal's back over there already, but if we can just take uh, what we needed, so... Yes, I'll be encumbered, but how much? Yeah, okay, good. Then I'll take the rest of the cementing paste, and we are good to go over, and we should now be able to make the bow. Like I say, I've already got the obsidian um, ferried over because it was just taking up white and I couldn't put anywhere. Did I get any? Nope, I didn't leave any at all. Fantastic. Dusk over there. Is now, oh, oh, did I call her? I think I should have called her from here since I was aiming. It does say follow, yep, following Bob Frick, thank you. Should have like another 50 from the last trip, I think. 51, in fact. Excellent. Good. A good number. A good number indeed. So, back in a second when I'm over there and making the bow itself. I'm actually really looking forward to this. I'm hoping it's good. I'm really hoping it's a good item. So I needed 265, so just enough. Fantastic, finally. The amount of keratin I've gone through has been ridiculous. By the way, that's actually all the keratin I have left. For the first time in a very long time, I have reached... You know, all of my keratin is in one place and almost out. So I'm going to have to do some hunting on the Rex or something. I guess level up... Um, Level up my Rexes or my Spino. I guess um, leveling up the Spino would be best. I mean, it hasn't been leveled up in quite some time. Okay, yeah, so be right back. 
Okay, so that should be everything in there. So first of all, we're going to need 75 of these. Sorry, nine, how many was it? Oh lord, let's get it all correct, shall we? Now we're here. So, we need 95 polymers. So I was correct there. Excellent. For some reason I thought 75 for a second. Not quite sure why. Okay, so we need 95 of you. Ugh. Uh, just keep making them. Just, just make 90. So that's two already done. That's three done. Four done. Five done. Six done. And that'd be seven done. Okay, I think I'm making one too many, but that shouldn't. Wait, well, it will be too bad. Ah, uh, okay. So nine. One's already made. I'm gonna have to do it in small amounts because if I lose track, which I probably will, I'll end up um, making too much, and that means I'll go and ha I'll, I will need some more um, cementing base, which I don't want to do. So yeah, it's all I'm waiting for now is making the polymer. Then we'll have the compound bow, which which I can't believe is more expensive than is it is, is it actually more expensive than the um, assault rifle. It's more expensive by a long shot. That's actually somewhat ridiculous. I'm very glad I've turned up all the harvesting settings now, honestly. Uh, by the way, um, full disclosure, the harvesting settings are now on the maximum settings, which is which, which is now times three, as opposed to times two. So, yeah, that did speed up by quite a bit, so adding another 20 there. Okay, I'll just be right back when the polymer's done. Okay, so the polymer is currently being finished, but I do have some stuff to make in my own inventory, which is, which is a lovely amount of lovely tranquilizing arrows, which, of course, I'll be testing with the bow. Sadly, one of the best ways to actually test out the bow and how much um, knockout it gives is to test it out on your own animals. It's horrible to say, but testing it out on an animal you have means you can watch how much um, torpor has actually increased. So sadly, we are going to do some rather inhumane testing in a second, which is a horrible thing, but sadly, science needs to be done sometimes for the people who are still alive. I mean, make a neat bow. There we are. The com Of course, it takes a long time to make. Really hoping this is good. Only 50 durability. How much does a crossbow have? Ooh, what, what, what? 50 versus 100. Well, that's not what I wanted to see at all. So this is, is going to be a bit of a prize item, I feel. It's going to be an item which is only going to be used on a very special occasion. Ooh, it looks nice, though. It does look rather nice, it must be said. Okay, let's turn you off. All of that stone went into this, by the way. Just putting it out there. Okay, well, I need an animal that can actually take the damage. So, um, what I'm going to need to do is go down and pick uh, quite a bulky... Well, a Bronto would do it. Plus, it feels less um, inhumane shooting a Bronto, which won't even feel it, versus shooting something small like one of my birds or something. I, I love the little love heart they get now, just to indicate they've got the mate bonus from a distance. Really need to get those back over here as well. So much I need to do still around here. So... Hello there, Persephone. You're going to be my test subject, I'm very sorry to say. So, minimum shot in the leg, and let's see if it is more than the crossbow. So, 50 exactly. Of course, the big thing with the bow is range. Now, there's a good chance this won't be stronger, and that's fine if it isn't, because then it'll be based around damage. Whereas the crossbow, for some reason, gives you more of a load of um, narcotic. Plus, remember, th this isn't showing the initial amount. So, let's go to another animal. She hasn't got the thing, okay. And you. Plink. Much faster. Oh, 59. Hmm. So the crossbow is better, but only by a small amount. Now, the crossbow is definitely a lot better than the regular bow, meaning that the compound bow is still better than the regular bow at, at giving a, um, a quick bit of tranquilizing arrow fun to the target. However, you take away more. What? Persephone, why did you take so much more than... Is it just level? Do levels make you more resistant against... Apparently it does, because that took almost none. You took only 50. You took over 100, so, so never mind. The bow is significantly worse. But of course, the big thing is, these can apparently shoot much longer range, plus have, have the capability... Well, have the, have the purpose, really, of being used with the... Um, Whoa! Well, a quick um, a quick break while I tame this. So right now it does seem like the crossbow is better, and I would very much like to get that Fiomia. 
The problem is, it's in a very annoying area right now. Level 112! That's quite impressive. The problem is, if I attack it, it uh, most of these things are on um, defensive, which is, which is normally how I like them to be kept when they're all clustered together like this. So I'm going to have to aggro this thing without aggroing all of my allies. Okay, punched it. Okay, good. Uh, none of them are after it. No, nope, good. I'm hoping if it doesn't hit me, which of course it won't, because it could, because it's a Fiomia, not not a um, defensive creature. My pet shouldn't aggro. Where'd it go? Went through. There you are. Hello. Ooh, that's interesting. One purple things are spawned there. Okay, got him again. So that's two in you. It's quite a high level, so it's going to take a lot more than just two of these arrows. I mean, even even the, the lower level ones take about five or six. So this one's going to take a fair bit. Thankfully, it's getting brighter now as well, so I can actually see what I'm doing. I would take one of the birds or something, but again, I'm, I'm worried it'll aggro. Come on. Come back here. Don't let me use my new shiny bow. Okay, didn't quite get as high as I thought. Oh, there's a Rex just around the corner. Can you please stop running now? I'm going to lose this thing, I feel. Okay, unconscious. Okay, I'll get back to the animals and bring the Bronto over to defend. Okay, the perfect spot to defend. Excellent. Okay, let's grab some berries. Hopefully got some of the good ones. I don't know how much... Ah, we've got any narcos whatsoever, because I've, I've probably used them in the past. On the upside, we have a load of narcotics, I'll just feed it some of that, that's fine. I don't really mind losing a couple levels, because it's already ridiculously high level. Oops, was meant to run down the tile, managed to bug through the saddle. Excellent. Hello. How you doing? Oh, look how fast its food goes down, it's absolutely ridiculous. Fiomia are so easy to tame. Purely because how fast, I mean, even when they have ridiculously high food like that, it's because they eat so quickly. Oh. Bronto's attacking and managing to hurt the freaking Fiomia. Well done. Well done, Bronto. How you doing? Well, there goes all your timing effectiveness. I was meant to walk you a bit further forward, apparently. I am being a bit dumb. Okay, well, final... Well, the Rex got killed. That's good. So, final test, and definitely the least humane of them all, is going to be testing how much damage these things actually do. So, again, crossbow versus... So, a uh, regular crossbow shot, 535. Five. Not that much damage at all, really, but of course, that's um, accounting for any natural defenses or whatever it actually has. Now we try with the. Oop, have I already loaded with stone arrows? I thought I was loaded with prank. Never mind, okay. Now we test with the stone arrows. Also, how far these things go. Oh, my lord. Okay, well, distance, these things win by a mile. Okay, well, that wasn't even a headshot, and it killed it, and normally the crossbow doesn't kill without a headshot. Okay, and now I'm very sorry to say. Sorry. Not much more damage. Okay, so it's more about range, then, than anything else. Yeah, that hit that without, without even moving down. Okay, so it seems like the bow is more about range than anything else. Plus, of course, again, it can use the lovely heavy arrows. Now, I'm not sure what else can use the heavy arrows, but this is meant to be used with it because of the long range. And, of course, it's got a faster draw than the crossbow. So it's all about extremely long range shots and, um, not, and faster draw speed with the stronger shots, I suppose. I wonder if the Fioma's run out of food, but it has already. Run out of food yet? Nope, you haven't run out of food just yet. That's fantastic. I'm very sorry you got hit there. Okay, well, that's it for today, I'm afraid, so interested. I have run out of time, because it has been almost three hours of recording. But, yeah, I'm happy enough with this bow. Uh, it's not as strong as I was hoping it would be, but I do like the fact it's got a scope. I'm not sure how good the scope actually is, in terms of um, how, how, how you actually use it, like at long, such short distances. But... These are much faster shooting arrows with more damp sorry, with a much longer range, so that's good. I was just hoping for it more damage, but sadly that's not the case. I'm sorry. That went through you. That literally went through the arrow went through the target. But it is breaking already. 
Okay, I'm going to go and do some more testing, and I'll, if I have changed my mind about anything, I'll probably either put it at the end of this video or at the start of the next episode. So if I've missed anything, there's a good chance I'll have already covered it next time. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I know it's been a bit of a, uh, a bit of a grindy one, but sadly certain items in this game do require that. Next time, we're either going hunting for the elusive new dragonfly, which I'm not sure if can be tamed or not. I don't think it can be tamed, but if it can, I'll certainly be trying to get one. And we'll be perhaps starting building our base a bit more, since, well, there's a lot to do in our new little home under the, um, the pillar. And, of course, any name suggestions are more than welcome. Thank you so much for watching, if you have enjoyed the video. And, of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel. And, most importantly, shows that Ark Survival Evolved is a series you wish to see more of in the future. Thank you, and goodbye. And, for now, I think I'll probably be sticking with the crossbow. Although the bow's awesome. So, thank you. And goodbye.